Hey everybody, how's it going? I hear the same question often. Why do I have so much latency when I'm trying to record? Today, I'm gonna to show you a few simple settings in Pro Tools that can be applied to any other DAW software to minimize latency while recording. The number one reason that you have latency while you're trying to record is your buffer size. For instance, right now, if I go check, I was recently mixing, so it is at 1024, and that is gonna be an insane amount of latency while you're trying to record. So you need to take this and set it as low as possible. Your system might not allow you to go all the way down to 32. Your computer might not be able to handle it, especially depending on what plugins you're running while recording, but go as low as you possibly can. So I'll go ahead and take this down to 64. Now, if your computer isn't powerful enough to go down to let's say 128 or 64, it might be time to think about getting a new computer. So another way you can record with zero latency is if you're on an interface that allows, monitor directly through the interface or the interface mixer software, however your interface works, monitor directly through that. So for instance, I'm on a Universal Audio Apollo, so I can go into my console software here and I can monitor directly through this channel. Now I would need to mute that channel in Pro Tools, which means I can't listen to any of my effects in Pro Tools while tracking. So if that's something essential to you, this probably isn't going to work. But if you can monitor directly through your interface, you're going to have zero latency or very close to zero latency. Now, another reason you could have a significant amount of latency, for instance, I have auto tune on right now because a lot of vocalists I record need auto tune while recording. First of all, this plugin in general can cause a significant amount of latency unless you go to this settings tab right here and put it in low latency mode. So make sure if you're using auto tune, it's in low latency mode. If not, it could be really hard for your computer to go down to those buffer sizes of 32 because this plugin can take up quite a bit of computer power. Now, other plugins that could be causing it are, for instance, if I had throw in one of my universal audio plugins that's using the Shark chips in my Apollo interfaces to use the plugin, some of them do not play well when you're trying to record. So maybe try to stay away from those. I use the most simple plugins possible. So all I have is a de -esser and a simple EQ with a low cut while I'm recording. Then I use a lot of send effects because these are not gonna affect my latency. Once again, depending on what effects I'm using in my aux channels. So I use something like Valhalla Vintage Verb that is very simple. And one last thing is I keep all plugins off of my master channel. For instance, if I put a limiter on there, that might introduce a significant amount of latency while I'm trying to record, so I stay away from that. Now remember, you can do whatever you want. Rules can be broken but understand the rules and why they're there before you start breaking them. So if you wanna put effects on your master channel, that's great. If you have a super powerful computer and you're not getting latency and you have effects on your master channel, that's fantastic. I'm just giving you some suggestions to help with your latency while you're recording. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a great week and I'll see you soon.